Mm. Are we going? We're recording. We're recording? We're mm -hmm. here. You press that record button? I did a lot of things. Hello everyone, our friends! My name is Andy Luani, and today I am here with the wonderful, the fabulous... Two beats. <laughs> yes. So this weekend I've been in New York City, staying in lovely Bro Brooklyn, Bro Bushwick. Bushwick, Bushwick in Brooklyn. It's in Brooklyn. It's in Brooklyn. Yeah. In New York. In New York City. In the United States. <laughs> with these two lovelies, and we've been adventuring, and like we've been hanging, and we just recorded a video on their channel. We napped too. We you napped. That was just you. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so I met you two at StreamCon. Mm -hmm. That's right. StreamCon happened in New York City in like October. Now it's. Oh wow, it's almost February. Hi. Did you look at your watch to see the date? <laughs> I was looking at the date, it shows me the day of the month. <laughs> when I met these two, the first thing we were like very upfront and like very like friendly, and then it got to the point like, hey, they're asking like, can we stay in DC? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, come on over. I always want friends and stuff. And so I thought, wow, I just invited a couple of strangers to my house to like let them spend the night in DC. So basically, essentially, I knew you for eight hours. I was like, yeah, come and invade my space. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you were a little more hesitant about that. Mm -hmm. I was more, <laughs> I was more upfront about it. I was just like, yeah, because we were looking, we were going to DC for a YouTube thing, and we were like, oh, do we have to get a hotel? We were looking, it's like 150 bucks a night. Come on, we need, we must know someone in DC. You gotta make friends, you gotta make cash money, or mm -hmm. you can't make cash money with that kind of stuff. We made cash money. We made cash money. And then we were talking to you, and you were like, oh yeah, I'm living in DC, and I'm like, beep, we need a place. <laughs> That's true. He kind of pushed me into it, and then eventually I was like, all right, it's well. It's like, hey, let's be friends with him, we need a place to Exactly. Stay. <laughs> no, when they left, it was like literally 9 o'clock in the morning, I was like, I'm so tired, I see these people leaving my room. I was well, dead. for the majority of the time we spent with you, we were asleep. Yes. That's true. So we got in at like 11. Did you? Because oh we got gosh. into Union Station at 10 and like everything had just shut oh, down. I remember this now. <laughs> but like, I think as like a YouTube community, like we're very like close knit and close mm -hmm. bonds and like, I don't expect them to like rob me or like anybody to rob me, which I hope you don't. You like, do I do have a nice tripod. I do yeah. have a nice tripod and a nice camera. Grab the Manfrotto. Ah! <laughs> I think we should like embrace Getting to know each other more. Well, not, not like we've we already gotten to know each other. We've already gotten to know each other. We embrace a little bit. Oh, I'm ready. For, ooh, my spine cracked. <laughs> for like YouTube though, I think that we're all just like very. We have like a common goal, common purpose. Um, yeah. And we're just very friendly to one another. Inviting strangers to your house. Nah, you see them on the internet. Like, that's perfectly fine. But that's I mean, kind of true, though. I mean, I feel like a lot of the friends we've made, we had already kind of met them virtually, or we had right. gotten to know them through their videos and through social media, so then actually meeting them in person wasn't that strange. It wasn't really like a stranger. We had followed each other on Twitter first, so we were aware of each other. I didn't know, obviously. This was the funny part. They're like, oh yeah, we follow you on Twitter. I'm like, do you? I could have like, just followed you, too. I oh, hadn't that's true. recognized okay. your profile picture with like your actual faces and I think I was following you I was like, oh this is really awkward. <laughs> I don't know, strangers though has like a connotation. I feel like it's a very old term, like pre-internet. Cause I feel like the internet, -internet. helps break down some of those walls too. Cause like you said, like the community, you can totally meet people. And we have met people where we, uh, we even invited someone to like stay in our hotel bed with us. Um, that wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> and also we, John and I, when we were, um, he's John, I'm Jeremy, I don't know if that was clear. John, Jeremy, two beeps, <laughs> Andy. When we were traveling in Europe a few years ago, we would do this thing called couch surfing, which is essentially sleeping at strangers' places. Mm -hmm. The thing with couch surfing though is you get to check people's references that they leave on the website, so other people stay oh, with them website? first. Yeah. yeah, it's a website, and oh. it's also a form of a community because people stay with you, they leave a reference saying, oh, I had a great time. Do you like pay a fee to like stay at their house? No, that's the free. point, is that it's free. So when we were traveling in Europe, we had like no money, and it was Is really this a good. thing in the US too? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. We've done it here too. We have hosted people like through couch surfing. Mm -hmm. I need to get on this. Well, like, I think that being on the internet and like meeting people in real life, internet friends are real friends. Like people are like, oh, like, yeah. I went on a date with you because like I saw you on the internet and it made me feel better. And I'm like, <laughs> cool. Really? I'm like, give me some proof that you're real too on the way back. It's helped me open up and like travel and like have more friends. I think the LGBT community is also particularly tight knit in the YouTube mm -hmm. community too. You know, I feel like, I mean, most of our friends are part of that LGBTQ community. And I think that we all kind of look out for each other and we all want each other to do well. So we support each other. A futon or a dorm bed yeah. is kind of the least we can do to help each other. Potato chips. It's... We did give you some of those too. <laughs> it was great. That's true. Yeah. But thank you for opening up your house this week. Your home, We're your humble abode. You. We explored, <laughs> we like got big gay ice cream and it's just been great. So thank you. Aww. It's been fun. I'll come back on, you know. You better. A couple months, I'll come back. Okay, I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Two Beeps channel because 
I love them. You better love them. And be sure to give a big like to this video and leave a comment below of like if you couch surfed or if you've like traveled and spent the night at people's friends' houses that you've never met. Because <laughs> like it's you, you put yourself in your discomfort zone and you get comfortable with it. Right. I hope you have all had a phenomenal day. Be sure to check out Two Beeps once again. This is John. This is Jeremy. This is Andy. Signing off. I hope you have a phenomenal week. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Blink, blink. Oh. <laughs> Pokes me. That was you. <laughs> blink, blink. Oh, my eyelashes feel so much heavier now. Yeah. Yeah. Some product on there.